Have you ever wondered who is the wealthiest person ever lived? Could he have been a tycoon in the oil industry? Or is he a self-made millionaire of a modern tech company? Well, none of them. The richest person ever was Mansa Musa, the king of Mali, who lived seven centuries ago. Mansa Musa ruled Mali from AD 1312 to AD 1337. During his reign, he made Mali one of the richest and most powerful kingdoms of the world at the time. The empire extended through the northwest of Africa on today's territories of Mali, Senegal, the Gambia, Guinea, Niger, Nigeria, Chad, Mauritania, and Burkina Faso. It is estimated that Musa's wealth was equivalent to $400 billion today. If you want to compare, the wealthiest modern billionaires have net worth of around 200 billion. But how was Mansa Musa able to accumulate that large fortune? Well, first, he inherited a great kingdom that was already wealthy after the previous king, Mansa Abu Bakr Saku, disappeared at sea. Musa found himself at the head of an empire with the largest reserves of salt and gold at the time. Immediately, he intensified the salt and gold mining, bustling his wealth rapidly. The vast empire of Mali was geographically located in the way of the major trade routes of Africa. The commerce in the region flourished, and the taxes on trade further increased the masses' riches. In 1324, the Muslim king made a pilgrimage to Mecca in a so extravagant trip that destabilized the economy of North Africa. The caravan crosses the Sahara Desert with 10,000 of soldiers and service people dressed in Persian silk with gold-decorated armor. Dozens of camels carrying hundreds of pounds in gold were part of the caravan. Mansa Musa spent three months in Cairo, Egypt, where he handed out gold as if it were candy on today's Halloween night. There was so much treasure he brought into the region that the value of gold dropped significantly in Egypt for the next 12 years. Mansa Musa made himself very well known. The Empire of Mali was for the first time included in the Catalan Atlas created in AD 1375. After the trip to Mecca, Mansa Musa turned his focus to developing his kingdom. He brought architects and intellectuals from across the Islamic world to reconstruct the cities and build mosques and large public buildings. The Kingdom of Mali, and mainly the city of Timbuktu, became the most sophisticated Islamic learning center of the 14th century. Mansa Musa died in 1337. He is remembered as a symbol of extraordinary wealth. However, his legacy within the Islamic faith and the promotion of education and culture in Mali society makes him one of the most important figures of African history.